Hi everyone, this is Rebecca Betterbread, and I am doing a follow-up video here after I just did my video on how to upload a new profile photo for your dogs. As you can see, here is our new list where you can drop down information for each dog, like this. So, I'm going to go down here to my dog Ashes and show you some new features. So here he is. I've already uploaded a photo for him. Here's his sire and dam and date of birth. Underneath, you have some new new buttons and some of the old ones. So here's where you go to his profile. His profile is on, so you can turn that off. Update information, this is where you can add some of our new features, including temperament and height and weight, as well as other information like color and location. Eventually we plan to sort by that, so please add that information. Update health records. This includes your OFA link if you have submitted to OFA and we would like you guys to add your OFA numbers for each feature like hips. If you could add your OFA number, we go through and verify every single one of these posts and, and then add them to your profile. This dog is active. That means he is in the breeding population when people click on their potential breedings. He is public, which means that you can see his public profile if you click on him. I don't, now here's a new feature. Owner is public. When you click on a dog, in the past you couldn't see who owned the dog. Right now this defaults to private, so if I click this, this means people will not see that I own this dog. If I click it as public, that means that people can see that I am the owner of the dog, which it's nice to know who owns a dog that you're considering. Now if I've made this dog private over here, uh, instead of having it show up in the general database for potential breedings, you can share it with other people and it will show up in their list. So if I click with this, you click this, you have to have the username of the person that you're trying to share with in order to share the dog. So I'm going to go up here and click on the profile and show you our new profiles. <clears throat> so here you can see, here's his photo, and this is his general information. And as you can see, I made my ownership public, so now you can see I am the owner. You can collapse each one of these sections and make them bigger if you want to see them. So here's his genetics, close that. Here's his health information. It's got his chick number and then each of the values along with their OFA number ideally. Temperament, now you can list the temperament of your dog and that is under the update information feature of the website. Here appearance will include color, height and weight. I can shrink these down. And then down here, you know the owner because I've selected it, you can contact the owner and send an email. Now we used to have all of the genetic information up at the top, but when you're looking at a stud, you wanna see the information about the stud. However, the genetic information is still here down at the bottom of the profile. So his genetic analysis, genetic relationships, potential breedings and suggested breedings are still on the page. All right, if you have any questions, I want to let you guys know that the profile photos are only for our full members at Better Bread, but um, all the other things like updating health information and other information about the dog are for any, any of our members. So if you have any questions, you can feel free to email us at support at betterbread.com. Thanks for watching.